Hi, welcome back to my video. In this video, you are going to learn how to do SMTP port scanning of a server. The SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol and it is represented on a TCP IP network where it can send the emails from one side to another. The SMTP port number is 25 and at the server side 57. The SMTP specially work on application layer. So basically SMTP is an electronic mail server and other mail transfer agents like Google, Yahoo, Hotmail use SMTP to send and receive the mail messages. The user level client mail applications typically uses SMTP only for sending the mails. For retrieving the messages, client applications usually use POP3 or IMAP. So that's a simple and short explanation of an SMTP. So if you want to check any user is existing on a SMTP, then you need to use this command that is smtp-user-enum-m that is model vrfi verification hyphen d that is domain midsploit dot local domain it sends our protocol hyphen u that is username sac hyphen t target and the IP address so here you can see the all the information I have entered to verify whether the user is present or not but here I got the zero results because I did not added any user to SMTP. Coming to the Metasploit part, the Metasploit consists of a scanning model where you can find the which version of an SMTP is used by the server. Let's begin. So here you can see that I am running with the server. This server consists of an SMTP ports. That means we can use the server to send and receive the emails. But here we are only concentrating on the SMTP port scanning. When you are trying to attack the target machine, we should check which version of an SMTP is used by the server. Now here you can see that I have already opened the Metasploit. And next here I am typing use auxiliary slash scanner slash SMTP slash SMTP underscore version. Now the model has been set. And next typing show options. So here is the model information our hosts our port which is already set that is 25 and threads. So next setting up the our host by typing set our host and the range of IP address and next setting up the threads by typing set threads 40 you can set any number of threads at last exploit so here you can see that it has started scanning let's wait for some time now it has got the two server SMTP versions. One is of metsploitable.local domain and another one is of bbox. So that's how we are going to get the SMTP version of a server. So after getting this SMTP version, so the attacker tried to log in into the SMTP. That can be done by brute forcing or neither enumerating SMTP. So how it is done? When an attacker tried to verify whether an email account existing on a server is simple to tell net to the server on a port 25 and checks for verification if the verified user account is existing then the attacker can control over the SMTP so that's all about the SMTP port scanning of a server thank you